guys. So today it is time for June favorites, which means it's almost July, which is very exciting. And I'm pretty pumped. So I also have like life-changing favorites this month. Um, I have a lot of lip favorites, which is very out of the ordinary for me. And I have a lot of good stuff to share. So let's begin with nail polish as usual because I have a lot of nail polish favorites. I have three Essie faves and two OPI faves, so I don't know what this is. <laughs> so yeah, let's get into it. Here are my three Essie faves. First one is Urban Jungle, which I've already talked about in my summer polish picks, which I will have linked down below, of course. This is amazing. At first I thought it was only going to be like a fall type color, but it's so not. It's so pink, nude, creamy, amazing beige that it's just like one of my favorites now. I love polish colors like this. I just feel like you can't go wrong no matter what skin tone you have. I feel like this is going to look great. So this was definitely a fave. Next I have Essie Sittin' Pretty from their new Two Taboo collection. They're like neon inspired collection. I was wearing this in my Ipsy Birchbox video this month and I got a lot of questions about it. It's amazing. Like, Who can pass up a lavender neon because I can't. So it's so good. The whole neon collection was amazing. It's called Too Taboo. I have a whole video on it. I will link it down below and yeah. And then my last Essie fave is what I'm wearing right now. I did my nails by myself so they don't look that great. But this is called Strut Your Stuff. It is amazing. This was from the other collection, um, the Hot in the Heat collection, which was kind of borderline is this fall, is this summer. But look, this is totally summer. It's so pretty. These polishes are so creamy. I've painted my nails my own self twice now with these polishes and I just they're so easy like it doesn't run all over my finger I don't know if anybody else has that problem but sometimes it like it like bleeds onto my skin this stays put it's freaking amazing and I just I love the color so I'm very excited to own this now for my OPI faves the first one is down to the coral this completely shocked me I thought I was going to hate this because of the shimmer in it this is from the OPI neon collection you guys this was so amazing. I couldn't even get it to look as amazing on my Instagram as it did in real life. It is so coral, so neon. The shimmer is just perfect. It's just right. It didn't bother me at all. Oh my god. The whole neon collection is really just like flooring me. Like I freaking love it. So definitely check this out if you're into coral neon nails. And yeah. And then my last favorite OPI is Sorry, I'm fizzy today. I finally got my hands on the OPI Coca Cola collection. Again, video will be linked down below. This was the first one I put on my nails. It's the most amazing peachy, pinky, coral pink ever in the entire world. I was obsessed with it. I just took it off my nails yesterday and I, I it's, it's so great. So it's just like a really different pink. I didn't own any pink like this, so I'm really happy I picked it up. And definitely check it out if you see it in a store. Next, I have a new favorite concealer, and I mainly like this for underneath my eyes and down my nose. This is the Maybelline New York Fit Me Concealer in 1, uh, no, 15 Fair Claire. It is amazing. It's so creamy. It blends in so nicely. It doesn't crease, and I've just been loving it. I wanted to try the NARS Creamy Concealer, but I picked this one up instead because it's much cheaper, and now I'm in love with this, and I have no need to spend the money on the NARS Concealer. It's amazing, and yeah, I want maybe just the, sh just the shade lighter to mix for underneath my eyes to make it even more of like a brightening effect, but I have been loving this, and I blend it in with my Sigma Tapered Kabuki F86 brush. This combo has been just so fun. Like, I just have such a good time doing it. This is not a concealer brush, but Jaclyn Hill, surprise, surprise, there's her name again. She uses this for an under eye um, concealer brush, and it just works the product in so nicely. It picks up what you don't need works in what you do need and it's just great so this is ooh, let's hold it the right way this is an amazing combo and definitely a fave for the month i have a life-changing brow favorite i despise doing my brows i absolutely hate it my brows are very thick and bushy and i hate them and i try to keep them tame most of the time like i try to keep up on the waxing the tweezing in between the waxing but like the hair itself is so thick and bushy that i just hate i hate doing it i hate it and I recently picked up this Benefit Gimme Brow. This is the color Light Medium. And it's a one-stop shop for my brows, you guys. I just freaking run it through. I did it today, and they look pretty good, don't you think? I mean, they could probably look better, but they look okay. It's just so easy, and it's fun, and it's a good color for me, because my, like, I have literally transparent brows. Like, they are blonde and it's a problem and it looks funny and so this just kind of gets them to match my hair color I look like a, a, an alive human being and literally life-changing I'm so excited um, 
yeah I love it yeah love it <laughs> I have some cheek faves. I have a bronzer fave, a highlighter fave, and a blush fave. I don't know why I keep saying fave instead of favorite, but hey, we're gonna roll with it. This is also life-changing. You guys, I'm sure you're tired of hearing me say this is my new favorite bronzer each month, but you, this is literally now my number one bronzer, and I hesitated buying it for so long because it was 20 bucks, but then they were having a sale, um, and I saw like on Facebook, that they were having a sale um, and it was 40% off and I bought it and then I realized with shipping I would have paid what I would have paid in the store and then I was pissed I had to wait for it. This is a pointless rant. My new favorite bronzer is the Body Shop Honey Bronzer. I've been listening to Essie Button and uh, Miss Glamorazzi talk about this for so long. I, uh, you guys, it's so cute. Also, it looks like a little honeycomb. I've used it a lot so it kind of is disintegrating but it's so nice. I got the number one, so this is as light as it comes. It's really nice. It's still not too light for me. I feel like I can get away with a lot of bronzers depending on how heavy of a hand I'm using, but this is my favorite. Oh, I love you. I love you. Literally life-changing. I think it has replaced my milk chocolate bronzer as my number one bronzer in my life. And I, this is working now because I don't have a tan, and it's gonna work in the winter when I don't have a tan, and it's just the most amazing thing. And I'm so happy I finally caved because it's flawless. I haven't really tried too many new blushes. I was kind of bad about switching out the blushes in my makeup case this month to try and use something new, but I have been reaching for this Clinique Blush Pop, Cheek Pop, and Berry Pop. It's a really nice, just bright berry color. It's nice for summer. Um, I think I need a little bit more of a tan to like actually use a heavy hand with this, but um, it looks nice if I like to spend my time blending it out, and it's really, really pretty. Um, I bought this in North Carolina with my mom. She got the Peach Pop, I got this one, and I just recently talked to her and she thinks the Peach Pop is too shimmery for her. So I'll be snatching that back and now I'll have three out of the four. Blush hoarder! And then I have a new highlighter favorite. This is the Cindy Luminizer from The Bomb. I love this. Not so much as a highlighter, but I love to just blend it in with my blush. And I've been using the F35 Tapered Highlight Brush. I think I mentioned it last month, so I didn't want to repeat myself. But that brush is so much fun for just blending in your highlighter, and it just looks so good. So this is kind of like a pink, shimmery color. It's so pigmented, so creamy, so great. And it's just fun to like mix in with your different blushes if you really want to glow from your cheeks. It's really, really nice. The packaging is great. I'm in love with the balm right now. And, uh, yeah, I don't have anything else to say. <laughs> I have a lot of lip favorites this month, which is very unusual for me because I don't like my lip products. I've been liking the red lipstick lately, if you can tell I've been wearing it in, like, every video. But I have some lip products to share. First one is this Pixie Shea Butter Lip Balm in the color... Um... Pixie Pink. The color Pixie Pink. It's a really cute pink color. I don't normally wear pink, but I feel like I look okay in this. It's very sheer. I wore it to Disneyland one day. It's just a really nice moisturizing sheer wash of pink color. I got this in last month's Birch Box. This is a full size. These come in a lot of different colors um, and they're cute. So I highly recommend them if you pass in Target or something and see these and want to check one out. Then I have a favorite from this month's Ipsy bag. Everybody got a NYX butter gloss this month, which is great. Everybody needs more NYX butter glosses in their lives. They amazingly sent me a color I didn't already have. I got the color Creme Brulee, which looks a little bit dark for me, but it's the most amazing Your Lips But Better color, and I have been wearing it every single day. The formulation of these is perfect for me. I like the smell. I don't mind the taste. They're moisturizing. I don't notice that it's on my lips. I know I like a lip product when I can't I'm when I forget it's on, if that makes any sense. So this is the most amazing Your Lips But Better pinky nude color, and I am obsessed. You guys know that the Rimmel Moisture Renew lipsticks are probably my favorite lipstick. It is, I will say it now, it is my favorite lipstick formula ever. And so I branched out and tried a couple more shades this month. I picked up As You Want Victoria, which is this really nice kind of like red, kind of a little bit maroon shade, but it's literally flawless. And I also picked up Nude, no, Rose Blush, which is a really pretty color. I mentioned this in my last haul, and I was wearing this in my Ipsy Birchbox video. It's just a really nice sheer um, light pink color, and it's really, really nice. Again, I don't really like myself in pink lipstick, but I feel like I'm okay with this blush looking color. So obsessed with these. They smell incredible. They feel great. Again, I don't notice they're on my lips. I'm all for it. And then the As You Want Victoria one is right here. 
Oh, uh, you guys, every time I've been wearing red lipstick in a video, it has been this, uh, except for today. Sorry about the confusion. But literally every single video the past month where I'm wearing, wearing red lipstick, it's this, if you're wondering. So I freaking love it. Try out, go, go, just go to a drugstore, look at the colors and try one out, whichever one you think is great. Because I promise they're cheap, they're great, and they smell good, and that's what's most important. I have a shower gel favorite, and you know I'm not lying because it's completely gone. This is the Oahu Coconut Sunset Shower Gel from Bath & Body Works. It smelled so good. It was a fun bright orange color. Oh my god. Ah! It was a fun bright orange color, which was fun. It was perfect for summer. I wish I bought another one in their semi-annual sale, but I bought plenty of shower gels. I'm not too worried. Um, but it was just really, really nice, and I enjoyed it. And if you like coconut, you will like this. On July 8th, I will be finally uploading my updated nail polish collection video, so you can look forward to that. And yeah, I will see you, of course, in between then. I just wanted to give you a date for everybody who's asking. That will be when it's uploaded. Thank you for watching, guys. I hope you had a fantastic June, and I hope you have a fantastic July. And let's have a fantastic summer. So I'll see you guys soon. I hope you guys liked this. Have a good day. I think I've said everything at least twice. So I love you. I'll see you soon. And bye.